What's up everyone? I'm back with another Halloween set. In today's video, I'm going to be doing this super cute glittery skeleton bone Halloween set. I'm going to be using a new gel polish set from Savalan. They sent over a 12 piece glow in the dark gel polish set. The colors in this set are so pretty. I've never really seen like super bright glow in the dark colors like this, almost like neon. So I was kind of excited about this. I don't really have any glow in the dark gel polishes either. Um, mainly like acrylics and stuff like that or poly gels, but I don't really have gel polishes. So it was like a nice change. So yeah, this is what it looks like when you open up the box. I'm just gonna take everything out. Everything's packaged really nicely. Um, so the first thing you get is a little manual. It will show you how to like prep your nails for the gel polish application and stuff like that just in case you had any questions. There's some frequently asked questions in here. Um, and this is what the bottle looks like. They are 7.5 milliliter and the brush is a pretty decent size for your nails. I'm going to be swatching these colors but yeah this is what the brush looks like so as you can see the polishes are pretty thick so they're pretty pigmented as well so the first color is called fog phantom it's like a milky white which changes to blue when it glows the next one is called aurora green which is a neon green it changes to a lighter green and um, the next one is a very light blue um, almost like a light powder blue and that one changes to like a greenish blue when it glows the next one is called white jewel and it is like a very pretty purple color which changes to a yellow um, and then after that we have night light which is also another purple shade which changes to blue then we have a color called flash orange it is a red color which changes to orange um, that's a really pretty color i love how vibrant these colors are um, the next one is called solar which is an orange and it changes to yellow and then we have a nude pink which is called nude purple um, and it changes to purple so it basically is named um, how it is um, so i'm going to go ahead and cure those really quick and then finish swatching the last four so now we have aurora yellow which is a yellow and it changes to a neon green when it glows um, then we have lumi blue which is a purple and it changes to a blue then we have a really pretty like hot pink shade called pink light which changes to yellow and then the last one is called blue light which is a blue but it changes to kind of like a bluish green almost like a teal color as you can see with one coat they're pretty pigmented but i'm just going to go in with the second coat off camera and this is what they all look like after a top coat and this is what they look like when they all glow they're all super pretty and vibrant i just love these polishes if you're interested definitely check the description box all right so moving on to the tutorial today i'm going to be doing an acrylic set as you can see i did prep off camera and i applied some stiletto tips these are actually the new really long stiletto tips that i got and as you can see my nails are a little bit longer than how they ended up being because i ended up like breaking the tip of one of my nails so i had to end up making them shorter so i was a little bit mad um, but the set was like already done and stuff like that. I wanted them to be a little bit longer, but it is what it is. They still came out really cute. But if you're wondering why they're like way longer in the beginning than like, you know, in the end of the video, that's why. Um, but as you can see, I've already prepped my nails off camera and I applied a little bit of pink acrylic to protect my nails. Um, and I did go over them again with some Young Nails Protein Bond um, just to give like some extra adhesion. Um, and now I'm going in with a little bit of clear acrylic to apply um, some of these little Halloween glitters. I noticed though that the stars are not really solvent resistant. So um, sometimes when the monomer touches them, it makes the color bleed. Um, so I do end up having to like replace a couple of them. You just have to be really careful when you place them on. Um, and I'm also going to be going in with a top coat over them before... I go ahead and encapsulate to seal everything in so that the color doesn't bleed off of the glitters when I go to encapsulate because you'll be touching them with more monomer and stuff like that. Um, the rest of the glitters in here, I didn't really have that issue. It was just like the little star glitters for some reason. The rest of them didn't really bleed, so I don't know. 
um, so just be careful with that if you do decide to like purchase these glitters luckily I didn't apply the glitters all the way to the tip of the nail so when I took down the length um, you couldn't really tell like none of the glitters got cut off or anything like that so it was all good um, so yeah now I'm just kind of like as you could see I was gonna go in with this glitter shade from sugar and cream try to put it in between those but it really made the star glitters bleed so I decided to just take them off go in with the glitter and then apply the star glitters over the glitter again I believe um this color was called diamonds or something like that from sugar and cream it's just a plain glitter acrylic but I wanted like a little bit extra hint of sparkle in the background of the nails if that made sense um so yeah as you can see, I reapplied those glitters and now they're not like bleeding all over the place. Um, so yeah, I'm going in with that glitter from Sugar and Cream first on this nail before I go in with anything else. And now I'm going to apply this little Fimo shape. This Fimo shape was actually super thick, like, so it was a bit hard to encapsulate. I wasn't expecting them to be that thick, but I managed to get it like encapsulated in the end it was a little bit difficult so you'll see how I do that afterwards but yeah for the other glitters um, I'm just like making sure to place them as flat as I can it's a little bit harder to do on stilettos that's why I wasn't able to put so many glitters like right at the tip because the tip is so narrow on these All right, so now I'm gonna go in and top coat all the glitters to make a seal over them so that when I go encapsulate, I don't have to worry about that color bleeding all over the nail. Um, so yeah, this is kind of a way that you can make um, non-solvent resistant glitters work. Um, you just have to be really careful when you place them on not to apply too much monomer um, so that the color bleeds while you're placing them on the nail and then just seal them in with a top coat so yeah on the other two nails i'm doing a basic ombre because i'm gonna end up painting over these later on i wasn't really sure what i wanted to do on these two nails but i knew i was going to use the gel polishes on them so i just decided to do a plain ombre for now just in case um i change my mind later on i guess um so yeah i forgot to mention before i went in with the glitters i did go over the nail bed um, with Jasmine Torres Queen Pink which is the color that I already had on my nail beds to begin with and I'm doing that on these two nails as well and then just going in with more of that sugar and cream glitter shade right over the tip kind of just fading it over the tip like a quick little ombre and then I'm going to go ahead and start encapsulating the nails with Mia Secret Clear Acrylic um, so normally I do a three bead method, but these glitters were really thick thicker than I thought they were So I did have to go in with a couple extra beads to make sure the glitters were Covered especially the bigger pieces like the ghost and the cat and definitely that Gigantic femo shape. I don't know if you're really supposed to Encapsulate those but I wanted it more on the inside of my nail. So that's why I decided to encapsulate it um, But yeah, usually I do a three bead method um, and then just kind of like add in the extra acrylic where I need it. So usually the first bead is right under the small line to build up the free edge of the nail. Um, I place my second bead right there in the middle to start building my apex. And I focus most of the acrylic in the area that I put it in. Um, I, of course I do blend it into the previous bead. Um, but like not too much because you want to focus it in the area that you put it in. 
um, and then the third bead is right there under the cuticle I use that to further build the apex and like I said then I go in and kind of like add acrylic where I need it like there's little parts of the cat glitter that was poking out so I had to go in and add more to make sure that that was covered um, on these two nails I didn't really have that issue because they were just plain they didn't have the glitters but yeah those glitters were definitely like really thick so especially on stiletto nails because they're so narrow so it made it kind of like a challenge i did try to bend them a little bit with my fingers to form to the nail more after they had a top coat so that did help as well um, but yeah that femo shape up there was super hard to freaking encapsulate um, so i did have to go in with a pretty big bead um, so it was a little bit thick at first but i ended up like filing everything down and this bead was a little bit runny so I'm like cleaning it up really quick um, but yeah I found that like working with the acrylic a little bit wetter was easier to encapsulate the glitter because it gave me more time Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and file up the nails really quick. I'm using a fine grit ceramic drill bit and I'm just debulking right now. Like I said, these nails are a lot longer than they ended up being, which I was so mad because I really wanted like the long stiletto look. They were so long, don't get me wrong, but I wanted them super long. That's why I got these nail tips. But like after I finished filing them and buffing them and everything, and I was cleaning up I looked down and the tip on the pointer finger was like broken off so I was like really so I had to go ahead and like you know file it down and I couldn't just leave like one short nail like that so I had to take the rest of them down too I mean they are long but not long like I wanted them to be but yeah it's all good um, so yeah like I said I'm just debulking right now I'm going around the cuticle to get it as flat to the nail as possible so it's nice and sealed and then I'm just kind of like smoothing side to side down the nail this was a little bit tricky to file like around the glitters you got to be really careful that you don't file off the glitter so like I do file a little bit off now um, but I do end up like filing a little bit more later on because I noticed there was like a dip into the nail some of the nails um, after I like went ahead and shaped them up um, but I was trying to be extra careful not to file like the big pieces of glitter off because that's where I applied more acrylic. But um, when I was all done filing, I said, I'm just going to go for it and hopefully it works out. And luckily I didn't file any of it off. Thank God. I'm also making sure to file under the nail as well um, because this is a glassy set. So you definitely want to file underneath them.
Now I'm gonna go ahead and shape them up with my 100, 180 grit nail file. I think I made these a little bit sharper. I think that's why the tip broke off so easily. I noticed when you make stilettos too narrow, it makes them a little bit easier to break. Um, so yeah, I don't recommend like making them too narrow. Um, so normally I just kind of like round off the tip, but I did kind of like go for more of that sharp look this time. So yeah, they ended up breaking on me. So that's why they ended up a little bit shorter in the end, but yeah, nothing we can do about it now. Um, so yeah, I just hold my file at an angle and file in towards the tip and you would just keep doing that until you're satisfied with like how wide they are like i said it's better to kind of like round off the tip so that they don't break so easily or so that they don't like poke holes through your clothes if they're like super pointy um and after i file i'm gonna buff the nails
All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the design. Right now, I'm just gonna do a quick little ombre with that pink shade and the purple shade. The pink one is called Pink Light and the purple is called White Jewel. I'm basically applying the pink on the tip and then just blending the purple over that into the pink and then going back in with the pink to kind of blend them really quick. I didn't wanna do a super neat ombre. I wanted it to kind of look like a little bit messy since it's like a Halloween set, kind of made it look a little more scary like, I guess, in my head. Um, so I'm gonna do that in Cure. Then I'm gonna be using that shade Fog Phantom to paint the skeleton bones. So first you wanna start by making like only like a single bone towards the bottom of the nail since it's all the way at the end. But then when you get towards the middle and the top, you wanna to draw like the entire bone. Um, it was a little bit harder to do this part with my detail brush. So I switched to a dotting tool. It was a lot easier to make the two little dots at the bottom and then kind of like drag the polish up and form it into a shape of a bone. And I kind of just like, you know, did a rough outline before I actually went and outlined everything in black. Once you outline everything in black, um, it will really come together and you'll be able to see the shape of the bones better. Um, towards the top of the cuticle, I only did like half a bone because obviously I didn't have enough room. And now I'm gonna go ahead and outline the bones with this black gel polish from a cart called Nor. This makes it so that the bones stand out like a lot better. You just wanna like use the tip of your brush to get thinner lines and outline them really quick. And as you could see, like it really brings everything to life. Um, I use my cleanup brush to clean up like any lines that I feel like I need to, like if they're too thick. On the pinky, I'm going to be making two little four point stars with the black gel polish. So basically you want to drag a line up and across and kind of just like thicken it up in the middle to give it that four point star appearance. And then I'm going to go ahead and cure. And then I'm just going to like top coat all the nails and I'm going to use some Beatles rhinestone gel to apply a little bit of bling around the cuticle area on the two glitter nails. And that is pretty much it. It was a super simple, easy, but cute little glittery halloween set i hope you guys enjoy this video let me know what you think in the comments i love to hear your feedback and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you can get updated when i post new tutorials i post new videos every week um, and you also want to hit the notification bell so you get notified when i do post and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I love you guys. By the way, if you want to see how they glow, check out my TikTok or Instagram. I do have 
videos on there that shows how they look when they glow.